In the next few minutes, we're going to show you a few major enhancements in the way Business Center's Heavy Construction Edition works with vector PDF data. These improvements will have a big impact on your estimating department. Business Center's version 2.5 set the standard in how quantity estimating programs should work with vector PDF files. With the release of Business Center's version 2.6, the bar has been raised even higher. First, we will show you how Business Center worked with vector PDFs in version 2.5. We can simply drag the PDFs from Windows Explorer, or for this example, import and select a range of pages. Then we place the image. The plan is already rotated to north, so we simply type in a known distance. Notice how Business Center snaps to the vectors in the scale bar. The points we are snapping to are the same points that would be in the CAD file. Then we pull out the vectors embedded in the PDF file. Version 2.5 saved contractors hours and hours from having to digitize contours. Business Center joined the majority of the dash contours, created several layers, but it's all one color and it puts some lines on the same layer that don't belong to that layer. In 2.5 we had to isolate each individual layer and rename them. Some of you might be thinking you could heads up digitize on screen faster than fixing this data. You might be right with some vector PDFs if using version 2.5. But we all knew there was a better way. After we show you the major enhancements in 2.6, we will challenge you to do what we are about to show you any quicker or more accurately. Placing the PDF is the same in 2.6, but look at the new option we give you, Preserve Native PDF Layers. Yes, the layer names will be the same as they were in CAD. We also assign unique colors to those layers. If you would like the colors to jump out at you, we give you the ability to change the background color. Just change the PDF's property from Business Center's Project Explorer. The way Business Center works with project templates is masterful. In 2.6, we added a standardized layer feature. So for instance, this parking lot, we can assign to the light duty asphalt paving and your template will deduct for the base rock and asphalt. Business Center has a powerful material inside improvement manager running in the background. No need to manage multiple programs. You can perform your entire scope of work all within Business Center. Notice we also transfer the existing proposed contours to our standardized layers. You notice Business Center didn't join all the dashed lines when we imported the vectors. Not a big deal. Next we will run project cleanup from our data prep menu. No need to point out how many hours or days project cleanup alone will save you throughout the year. Project Cleanup joined 1,087 lines and got rid of fragmented and duplicate lines as well. We're halfway done. Now let's elevate a couple of lines. Pick the contour and type in the elevation. Notice how the lines change back to green when elevated. So you can visually see what is left to be elevated. We only have to do this in a couple of spots across the job. Then we can use the elevate contours by crossing from our data prep menu. A business center assigns the elevation in series. You will use this feature all the time. I keep elevate by crossing as well as the features I use all the time on the toolbar so I can get to them quickly. Can elevating lines be any quicker? If you have two monitors, great. You could have a 3D view on one screen and a plan view on the other and watch your job elevate in real time. If you don't utilize two monitors yet, you could split the screen in Business Center. Watch as I elevate these two contours. If you happen to make a mistake, you should see it right away. When you are done elevating all the contours, just drag a box under your 3D view and delete all the unwanted data. In Business Center's version 2.5, this project took us an hour and a half to complete. Mind you, Business Center didn't just calculate the earthwork quantities, but all the project's materials, lengths of pipe, curb and gutter, and counts for all the manholes and catch basins. But at Business Center's 2.6, we were able to complete the same project in under 45 minutes. What we showed you will not only save you time performing your takeoffs, but look how clean the data is. Each vector line was put right down the middle of the contour, so when you win the bid, you could send the job straight to your GPS machine systems and rough grade the site, giving you time to get the design files to build a more precise GPS model. We hope after witnessing the power of Business Center, you will visit Trimble.com and download Business Center today. If you would like to test drive Business Center for yourself, request a 30-day trial from your local site tech dealer.